once a day. Thank thank God for the message coming from Bishop Benjamin. Straight talk on Germans and submission. Let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to be back in the house of prayer once again. Thank you for blessing us all day long, all night long, all day long. Looking over us, oh God. And God, we just thank you for blessing all of our loved ones, near and far. Thank you for letting us be back in this house of prayer. And we plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one that's here tonight. And even the ones that's not here. We thank you for our presence. Most of all, thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, I serve you just gentleness and submission, so that's my subject. In Psalms 18.35 it says, You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness and condescension have made me great. David says here in 18.35 of Psalms, he's telling, talking, talking about the Lord, has given him his the shield of his salvation. The shield, a shield is something that protects you. So he was talking about the Lord has protected him with his salvation. And many of us today, if we want to say when protected by God's salvation, if God had not saved us from sins, different things that could have happened to us. I don't know where we would be. I, I know I would. I don't know where I would be if he, he had, had saved me and shielded me with his salvation. And he's a gentle and kind God. And he says, "Your gentleness and condescension have made me great." First Corinthians four twenty one. Now, which do you prefer? Shall I come to you with a rod of correction or with love and the spirit of gentleness? This is where. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4 21 I think Paul was accused by the members of the church saying that w when you're with us you're real uh, gentle gentle, and when you're with, away from us you're real harsh and so it's like they was saying that he was scared of them uh -huh. so Paul was saying yeah, let's, let's just get this straight that I'm not afraid of you I'll tell you whatever I want you to know to your face if I have to be harsh to you harsh with him. I'll be harsh with him when I'm with him. But he went on to say that it should, I should have to be. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be saints of God and not people that's out there in the world. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to do that. And um, that scripture that talks about that, he went into that for the weapons of our warfare. I think it's this Second Corinthians mm -hmm. 10. The weapons of our warfare are not come. Mm -hmm. In other words, we don't fight with with guns and knives and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We ought to be able to sell things uh, being gentle with one another. So I shouldn't have to be harsh with you. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul was saying, if I have to be harsh with you, when I'm with you, I will be harsh. Mm -hmm. Don't think I'm scared of you. Mm -hmm. So that's just like a, any, any, any church that would accuse the leaders of, Oh, oh, you can't, you can't get on us. You really nice with, with us when you're with us, but when you're away from us, you talk about some hand in our backs. And Paul said, "No, don't get twisted. I'm not like, I'm not afraid of you." So, so that's what that, that's what he, he was talking about. He was speaking to the first church of Corinthians in First Corinthians four twenty one, where he says, "Now, which do you prefer? Uh -huh. Shall I come with you or with the right correction? Because I can, or with love." Uh -huh. Some people who speak to them in a loving, a kind of way, they think he's afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Instead of them, uh, no, no one would really likes to be spoken to in a harsh way. Mm -hmm. So it should be, should be uh, more um, it's submissive when you're speaking to them in love, correcting them in love. Until a, instead of harsh, hot, hollering and screaming, you grown, they grown. Mm -hmm. If you got the hollering and screaming with, with telling them. Like their children, yeah. so that's how that was. That's what Paul was talking about in that in that um, particular verse. All right, yeah, they said five twenty three. Gentleness, meekness, humility, self control. Talking about the fruit of the fruit of the spirit, not the fruits. Are all of these 
different gentleness, meekness, humility, and self-control, and all of them, is it is the un, is one fruit that contains all of them. So it's the fruit yeah. of the spirit, and gentleness is one of them. Against it says here, Paul talking to the Galatian church. Against such things there is no law. You can have you can have as much of it as, as part as, as you need to bring about a change. He says, "No, I'm sorry. That can bring that, that no one can bring a charge against you. If you if you if you're gentle, you can be as gentle as you need to be. There's no such thing as where you too gentle. Uh-huh. No such thing as that." So there's no, no, they, they can't bring a charge against you for being gentle. There's never a time where a person shouldn't be gentle, sometimes, and this bishop was saying, some, sometimes we have to be firm with people. But in hand, that you can be gentle, do so. Be gentle. Mm-hmm. And no, you know, sometimes parents can't always be gentle to your children. You know, you talk to them sometimes in a gentle way, and they won't move. Mm-hmm. Then you talk to them in another way, a firm way, a more harsh way, letting them go to do to them, and then they jump up and do it. Mm-hmm. Do what you say, but you still love them. They're just uh, whatever it calls for at the time. And that's submission now. It said, we're talking about gentleness and submission, and the kinds of submission. There's a submission to authority. That's God's and man's authority. On the Joshua 24, 24, the Lord my God, I will serve. And his words, I will obey. Submit to, in other words. Joshua it was saying in Joshua 24 and 24, he said that the Lord, his God, he said, my God, he said, I will serve. And his voice, I will obey. So, I'm pretty sure he made it clear that nobody else's voice if they, they're telling him something wrong to do you know, so he won't uh, he won't um, he, obey that voice the scripture in the Bible says that my, ch- my children uh, my, know my voice and others, uh, another voice he won't obey words to that effect God says that he says that we we should know his voice and another voice we shouldn't obey that voice. Uh-huh. All parents, most parents who are children old enough, uh, even when they're small, uh-huh. uh, babies in fact, they recognize their parents' voice who come in the room uh-huh. and they start jumping. All I know man did this jump and most all of my things we did. Jumping and laughing. When I used to be working, I couldn't wait to get home to see my baby. And as soon as I come in the room, they jump up and just laugh and pray. Mm-hmm. And, and I like that. Because they recognize your voice. Mm-hmm. And so it is with the, with the people of God. We risk to recognize His voice and another voice we won't obey. Mm-hmm. First Samuel 15 23. Rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. And that's one of the scriptures that Bishop had. I so happen to have it written down here. Rebellion, hard-headedness, in other words, having a hard head. And when you're, when you're told to do something and you don't do it, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. You may as well be pressing witchcraft to be hard-headed and stubborn. Stubbornness, rather, is, is idolatry. That is idolatry. I, I will worship in other words. You do it. God does not care about people who come from what I did, may not remember what I did. Your person were to say, well, well, at least what I did wasn't bad as what you did. Doesn't make any difference. He, he's, a, he, he's about points. It makes no difference who did the worst thing. It was just disobedient, a hard head, rebellious, rebellious. That's what he's looking at. The fact that it, we, were, we, were, we were rebellious. Therefore I am so therefore I am submissive to authority. First time it says that first time fifteen twenty three says being rebellious is as a sin of my pressing witchcraft mm-hmm. and stubbornness is idolatry to me. Mm-hmm. Therefore I won't be, be any of those things. I will be submissive to authority. That's God's and man's authority. So Isaiah one nineteen twenty 
If I am obedient, I will eat the 